I can't go to the store without him. <coughs> Since I met him. That doesn't make any sense. And then Darlene and Matt lived with us, and Darlene's seen it. Okay? Darlene says, wow, he's bad in this door. I said, yeah, he's a nightmare, and I can't, I can't wait to get out of here. Oh, yeah. And now Matt and Darlene ain't even together anymore. Huh? Matt and Darlene aren't together anymore. No. Nope. Matt's in big, huge drugs. That's crazy. Darlene is, too. Wow. Darlene was living with us. If she was going through a withdrawal, her shirt would be soaking wet. That's crazy. Yep, she would go through withdrawals because she didn't have the money for the heroin. Or it, was it heroin or something? Heroin. Yeah, something like yeah. That's fucking... And she, her clothes were soaking wet. Where the hell is the daughter at? Her daughter has a boyfriend. I think getting married. Oh my god, it's been that long already? Fuck. Yeah. Damn, Willie got some real serious fucking problems. Yes. And I don't know why. I treat him good. I treat him good. I try to do his advantages, and there's no possible way to make him happy. For his legs and his feet. Yeah. There's no possible way. I have to tell William go do it because there's no possible way. He'll start cussing at me, calling me names. He'll do it to William now. Yeah. If it's crooked or it's not how he wants it. How the fuck are they taking care of him in jail? I have no idea. He can't wipe his ass. He has William wiping his ass. Why? Because he can't reach it. He is a stick. He's that big? You know the back scratchers? He's that big? Yeah. 400 pounds. I thought he and was. It, he's 400 pounds, but that's... They didn't weigh him. He probably told them that weight. 200 and what? Yeah. He's 400. Because when he went to doctors three weeks ago, he was 400 pounds. Cause he came in and was complaining about it. Why did he gain so much fucking weight? I have no idea. He's gonna die. He gained 400 pounds. You know, you're gonna wind up having to bury him. You know that, right? Yeah. Because he don't take care of himself. He's gonna die. His kids are gonna lose him. I don't want the kids to see it. No, nobody, I tell constantly. Nobody wants to see it, but he's sick. You just gotta I fight. Know. You gotta fight to get him help. This shit is ridiculous. I don't know what else you can do. Come in. And then somebody was prowling around my house, broke my door tonight. Last last night somebody was. Night before somebody was prowling around my house. It's Jeannie's family. Um, it's a white male skinny. All when Willie left this house, I've been dealing with somebody trying to break in my house and. Huh. Oh, I'm talking to somebody. And, um... That's crazy. Yeah. So, it's it's just crazy. And my house is so peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Very peaceful. And I got my friends back. 
I got my friends back to come over, and they're all saying, you know, Tina, we're all support you. You look so more happier and peace in mind. Well, today, I didn't expect all this. Well, yesterday, I didn't expect all this. Got arrested and all kinds of shit because what's going on. And I didn't think all this was going to go on. Cops were here tonight? Yeah, cops were here tonight. Somebody tried to break in, broke the door while we were in the living room. Me, Timothy, and Karen. That's fucking nuts. Huh? That's fucking crazy. Yeah. They broke the Jeannie's family. It's got to be Jeannie's family. Broke my door. And they drove all the way from Jacksonville, came here. What the fuck is but wrong? But that's all of it. William took a lot of abuse, too. Honest God. Punch him like a friggin' a punching bag. Calls him fucking retard. Um, what else? Every time it's retard, you're stupid. You can't do nothing right. That's his day of his father. Well, when the cop, when I had William and Timothy and Raymond stay and make sure they knew that dad was going to be thrown out. Had it all hooked up. Okay, but they're good. But I wanted them to stay to make sure he didn't hurt himself. So I told them to take the gun, hand them to my sister-in-law, sister-in-law. But Rachel wouldn't take them, so he, we had Timothy hand them to his cousin. Well, Willie had a holy fit because it was in the, I gave permission, so they were going to arrest me for it. Because it's, I'm not registered with those guns. Well, after I explained the situation, that he's been talking suicidal shit, if I left him, and here's all the guns in the house, so I try to keep him safe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, Timothy turns around, William and Ray, gave him a lot of support and everything, spent time with them, and then... I had to do something because I wanted to get back to my house. So I called Timothy. I said, Timothy, um, the officer is going to escort him out of the house, have his stuff ready. Because then he doesn't go crazy and goes off on the cops or something. Okay? Have his all his meds ready and stuff so then he stays out of trouble. Well, no one left with him. Just him. He went through the house to make sure what he wanted more, but he, he left, he, before he left, William comes out, puts the bag in there, so I'm thinking, oh, I'm losing William too, but that's okay, that's his son. Well, he put the bag in, he said, boom, he was running to me, out in the middle of the circle, okay? It's like maybe... Like you, if you park in front of the shop, right? Yeah. Okay. And you go through, go to the next aisle. But it was a distance. Okay. Well, he ran to me. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. And had his arms up. I've been praying at that altar. And my prayer has been answered. And he jumped in my arms. He and your husband would not let go. He says, Mom. I'm sorry how I've been treating you. I was just stressed. I didn't know how to handle it. So I used to grab William. William used to call me a bitch because his father. Okay? Wow. So I grabbed little William by the um, jacket, and he told his father that I hit him in his face. Yeah. So I grabbed him by his jacket and told him, go. You go tell your father the truth. I didn't hit you in your face. So he said, I'm sorry. So I forgave him and everything. So he rem- he knows everything I do for him. But William loves to play the field, too, and lie. 
Well, he's played the field really good at Feeney. He hasn't been back here, but then he called and said, I, um, I just checked out a new Amber and Timothy. I'm just hurt. I'm just, um, don't know what to do. Well, you had the chance to stay here or go with your father. You take going with your father, you stay at Jeannie's desk. Well, I feel bad now because I know about the all. Willie's not there now. And I know all the drugs and I know she's a swinger. Okay? Yeah. So, so, I want my son out of there. And I don't know the way to do it. If Willie doesn't go back soon, I'm afraid he, they're going to do something with William. And get him involved in doing something. Well, he's 24 years old. If he wants to go back to your house, he can do that. Right. But Jeannie talks to him and says, no, Stephen needs a, a buddy. William's handicapped. He don't know what he wants. Yeah, I know. She goes crazy. So, huh? So... When do you think they're gonna they're gonna release him, or they're not gonna release him at all? Um, I think this bond thing. I think the bond is the it's not there, is because of all the other ones that possibly is going to go against him. Huh? Because what happened four years ago. Even if he fucks up once with somebody, all those cases that was they wasn't sure about can go on him with everything. So he could be fucking screwed. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna wind up dying in there. He's not gonna get the proper. Uh -huh. He's gonna wind up dying in there. He's not gonna get the, the proper medical care. Right. That's why I'm gonna talk in court and explain to them. Well, I'm going to my domestic um, thing Monday, Tuesday, one of them. I'm supposed to see her, see her and meet her and stuff. And the kids, they're going to do the counseling and everything. Yeah. So, so I'm going to talk to her and I'm going to just tell her, I feel that my husband needs counseling. He don't need jail time. He doesn't realize what he does. He don't mean what he does. It's, he does not know what he does. I said, I'm, it's dangerous. I'm not saying I'm taking them back if I can't. There's no way. I like it peaceful. <laughs> I'm getting older. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> We could just be friends. That's fine. He won't come back here. He doesn't have anybody back here. Yes, yeah. Christine. What? My, you talk, my daughter's mother? The two Christine. Yeah. She don't live there? Well, what could they do for her? One has real long hair. What what could they do for him? I don't know. Keep him company. I don't know. He's an old man. <laughs> <laughs> he's only fifty. He's only fifty years. Fifty-one years old. Huh? He's not that old. He's fifty-one. Yeah, I know. Well, I hope everything works out. Yeah. I'll try. That's all I can do, but I'm not going to lie either. I'm not going to lie for him. I'm not putting my hand on no Bible and lying. Hell no. I, I can just hold stuff back, but I'm not going to lie. I mean, I already put my stuff all out. I didn't put a lot of stuff out there because I didn't want to fry him for abuse and they charge him for that. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. On the children. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I know. So, 